I am so excited to share this theme with you and I hope it's helpful for you at home or in your classroom. We're starting off with the community helper, a construction worker. For this community helper, you can get things like a tape measure and different objects and you can practice measuring them, seeing how long they are. Another activity you can do is to stack wooden blocks or cups like you are building a house. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some dice you're going to have the children roll them and then they will take that many blocks and stack them on top of each other. You can keep going and keep stacking on top until it falls down or you can just stack as many as they roll, have them roll again and do it again in another spot. Okay, so an art project that you can do with this community helper is to create a house out of toothpicks. The children will make a house or a build using toothpicks and glue and then if you have a construction worker printout, you could also color that and stick it on the paper for the construction worker art. Another fun thing that I like to do and I always found that the kids really enjoyed was getting to paint with different things than a paintbrush. And so for this community helper, I suggest painting with a hammer, a saw, a screwdriver, anything you have in your toolkit. Okay, so for your activity time for astronauts, I would have them train to be an astronaut. So this will include them spinning, doing push-ups, jumping jacks, running, jumping, and eating packaged food. So if you have animal crackers, gummies, anything like that, you can have them have that for snack time because a lot of astronauts have to eat foods out of packages. For an art project, I would create a strip of planets. Now for this, I used Canva to find my planet and then I colored them, cut them out, and glued them to the strip in order. So they may have to have some help making sure their planets are in order, but you could also have a sample or a template that they could copy to help them practice copying. All right, the fun thing about this community helper is it doesn't take a lot of supplies to pull together fun activities for the children to do. The first thing is to have Play-Doh and baking items in your classroom. You can use bowls, spoons, cookie cutters, and then the children can pretend like they're baking and cooking with the Play-Doh. Secondly, for art, you can have a cookie decorating time. So for this, it's not something they're going to take home necessarily, unless you want them to take it home after they decorate it, but it's fun because the children love decorating cookies and then getting to enjoy the treat afterwards. So having a cookie decorating time is a great art project for them. All right, I have two activities you could do in your classroom or at home when you're talking about this barber or beautician community worker. The first one is to create a little person with a toilet paper tube and use scissors to cut their hair. You will just have to pre-cut the toilet paper tube so it looks like the person has hair and then let them practice their scissor cutting skills by cutting the person's hair. When talking about a barber, you can do this second activity. You will have a face that you'll want to put into a plastic sheet of some sort or laminate it so that it doesn't ruin the paper. Use shaving cream or if you have younger kids that it's not as safe to use shaving cream with, you might want to use whipped cream. Put it on their chin and let them shave the person with a popsicle stick. This can get a little messy, but it's a lot of fun. For our art project, all you need is a couple pictures of faces and something to use for hair. I used crinkle paper, but you could also use yarn or even ribbon. You will let the children give their person a hairstyle. If you wanted to add to this, you could also get some noodles like bow tie noodles that they could use for hair accessories. If you wanted to throw in some extra scissor cutting practice, you could also let them cut their own hair out of the spool of yarn. All right guys, today's community helper is the dentist. So the activity that I have to share with you today is a teeth brushing activity. Now what makes this one a little more fun than just brushing your own teeth, I guess, is to have the alligator chomp game if you have access to one and let the children practice brushing the teeth of the alligator. If you have any other animals that have visible teeth that you could use, that might work as well. Our art project is something you may have seen before, but it's something that the kids would enjoy doing and that is to paint with dental floss. For this activity, you'll fold a piece of paper in half, dip the dental floss in paint. Now this can get a little messy because sometimes you do have to push it down into the paint and then string it on the piece of paper. Once you have all the colors you want on there, you will fold the paper over and pull the pieces of dental floss out of the bottom before opening it back up to see the design that was made. All right, so jumping right into it, our first activity is to do a doctor 
and other tools sort. So for me, I picked out a bunch of construction tools and some doctor items, and I would have the children sort the items and tell me which items were doctor items or things that a doctor or a nurse might use. Another thing you can do with your children is to weigh and measure them as if they are visiting the doctor's office. I also have two art projects for a doctor or a nurse. The first one is to make a doctor items collage. So for this, you will use band-aids, cotton swabs, gauze, tape, anything you have in a doctor kit on a collage. The next thing, as you might know about me if you've watched any of my other videos, is I like to find unique things that children can paint with. And so for this one, I would have them paint using the things in the doctor kit. So using things like the stethoscope in the doctor kit or any other things that you can find in there that would be great for painting is a fun way to incorporate that. For a farmer activity, I would have the children plant seeds. But the fun thing about this is you could do this in the classroom and then send them home for them to watch them at home. Or you can keep them in the classroom for a while and watch them grow as a class. If you wanted to plant different seeds, you could also have your own little garden in the class. My art project for a farmer has to do with cows. You're going to pre-cut cow spots out of black paper and tape them down to a sheet of paper. You can have the children in your class paint over these spots in any color you want. When they're done painting, you can peel the spots off of the paper and they can see the cow spots on the sheet of paper. One of the first things you can do is this fun ladder jumping activity. You'll use tape to create a ladder on the floor. You'll also need a bean bag or something for the children to throw. And you'll put inside each rung of the ladder an activity that the children have to do as if they're training to become firemen. So they'll throw their bean bag, it'll land on one of the activities, and the child has to do whatever is in that rung. For art, you can create a firefighter hat and a fire flame picture. Okay, so for your firefighter hat, you'll paint a paper plate red and then cut out the shape of a fireman's hat that they can wear on their head. I also had some fireman stickers that worked well as the badge that would go on the hat. So if you have that or find a coloring sheet that has that, that's a great thing to add to the hat as well. The second art project is a flame picture. I went ahead and cut out different flames for this picture because I wanted it to look different. So I would have the children paint each flame a different color. When they're dry, you will glue those flames onto a blank sheet of paper. You can also have them draw water on the top as if water is being sprayed on the flame. For this community helper, you can have fun by playing a game. You will take a lot of balls, pom-poms, or really any object that you have a lot of, throw them all over the floor, and the children have to try and pick them up, put them in a tub, as fast as they possibly can. This is a great way to encourage teamwork as well. You could have them try and beat the clock, or you can just time them to see how fast they can do it. The art project for this community helper is to make recycle art. I would collect as many recycling items as possible to give them a lot of different choices, and then let them do free art with the recycling items. For example, with the items I had, I was able to make a puppet using a toilet paper tube, some cardboard, and a paper bag. My first activity idea is to do a shape match with cans or boxes that you would find in a grocery store. You will have to pre-trace some cans and boxes on a sheet of paper. If you have a big sheet of paper, this might work better, but you could also do it in small individual sections on individual sheets of paper. You'll have a selection of cans or boxes, and they have to try and find the right box or can that matches the shape. Another idea that you can do with these same boxes and cans is to have a sheet of paper with letters on it. They will look at the item that they're going to be using and see what letter it starts with. They'll match that letter to a letter on the paper and set it on top of it. You may want to underline the letters on the boxes and cans that they're going to be looking at. For art, I have two ideas. The first idea is to create a cereal picture using any type of cereal you want. They'll take glue, put it on a sheet of paper, and then use the cereal to make a picture. 
Secondly, you can paint with boxes or cans. You know how much I love to paint with different things. And so this is a great way to incorporate the grocery store worker theme with painting. All right, guys, my activity for a librarian is to create a book sorting activity. You'll want to find some books that maybe have a little bit of a thicker spine and then you're going to put numbers or letters on those books. You might hide them around the house or around the classroom. The children will find those books and try to put them on a bookshelf in the correct order. If you wanted to, you could even get a whole set of 26 books and put the whole alphabet on it, but that's up to you. Our art project for the librarian is to make your own book. For a preschool age student, you're going to have to assist them a little bit. What they're going to do is draw a picture on the sheet of paper. You're going to ask them what the picture is about and that's what you're going to write down on the lines so that they can create their own book using the pictures they drew. Once each page is done, you will staple it together to create a book. The activity idea for a mailman that I have to share with you today is envelope sorting. You will want to try and find different size and color envelopes. The children can sort them by color as well as by size, just like mailmen or the machines at the post office sort mail. Our art project idea is to create a letter that you're going to send to their parents at home. They will draw a picture of whatever they want to send to their parents. You will address an envelope to their parents and send it in the mail to them. They'll like the anticipation of their piece of mail coming to their house sometime later on in the week. All right, for our activity for a mechanic, all you need is a tub of water or a bowl of water, a washcloth, and cars. So we know that mechanics work on cars, so the children can pretend to work on their car by washing it in the water. If you have other tools that you can put in there as well, if you have a tub that's big enough, that could be fun as well. Our art project idea is also an activity. We're going to color a wrench and then children are going to practice their scissor cutting skills by cutting this shape out. This is a great shape for them to practice on because it has a lot of straight lines and it's great for more beginner scissor learning. My activity idea when talking about a pastor as a community helper is to have your children teach a Bible story to their class. So this is going to involve a little bit of at-home help from the parent. They'll pick a Bible story they like, show it to the children, maybe using one of your picture Bibles, and then tell a little bit about that Bible story. Our art project idea is to color a Bible. They will color the Bible, and then I cut out letters that they could put on the Bible that spelled out B-I-B-L-E, Bible. That's great for following directions as well. Okay, the first activity is to grab a small piece of luggage or a suitcase that you can use and have the children sort what they would take on a trip with them if they were to travel. You will want things like clothes, toothbrushes, tools, blocks, things that children would not take as well as things that you would take on a trip with you. They will find the things that they should take with them and pack it in the suitcase. You could do this together as a class, or you could have this as a center activity as well. The art project I have is to get a map of either the world or a country and also a plane. They will color the airplane as well as the map if you'd like. Once those are colored, they will stick the airplane to a popsicle stick using glue, and then you can create a slit in the paper that the airplane can fly across the country through. Okay, so for my activity, this is going to be a group project that you're going to do together to just talk about what a plumber does. You're going to take a pool noodle, go outside with maybe a pitcher or bucket of water, and then you're also going to want something that you can use to clog the pipe that you're going to demonstrate with. So for me, I'm going to use wax paper, but you could also use something like paper towels or something you have on hand. So go outside and pour some water through the pipe and show the students what a pipe is supposed to look like or how it's supposed to work. But then you can talk about how sometimes pipes get clogged and you have to call a plumber to come fix them. And at this point, you're going to take your clogging material and stuff it into the pipe. So when you pour the water through, it either goes through a little bit or not at all. And then they'll have to call a plumber to come help. Now you could call on the children and pretend that they're plumbers and they have to fix the pipe one at a time. Or they have to look at the pipe and try to find out where it's clogged. Okay, so for art, 
you can create a pie picture. For my pipes, I used straws, and you can use these to make a picture using pipe. They can glue them wherever they want on the picture and just call it a pipe picture. Secondly, if you have toilet paper tubes or a paper towel tube, which would maybe be a little better because it's longer, you can use these to paint. For my picture, I used both the side, even though it's a little bit messier, and the end of a toilet paper tube to make a pipe painting picture. The activity I have to talk about for police officers today is something you may have to set up ahead of time, but you're going to try and create roads on the ground of your classroom, or if you have a gym or someplace bigger that you can make roads out of tape or outside with chalk, you're going to do that ahead of time. And then you're going to have the kids practice directing traffic. Some of the kids will be the cars and some of the kids will be the police officers. You'll have the kids driving the cars following the directions of the police officers during the activity. Secondly, for art, you can create a policeman with the letter P. You'll paint the letter P blue and then you'll use a police hat and a police badge that you found online and make a police officer letter. The fun thing about this is you can paint, but you can also have them color the hat and badge to make it a two-part art project. Okay, for this community helper, I think you should have the children go through boot camp. So for this, you're going to have them go through boot camp like a soldier would. You're going to have them run, do push-ups, sit-ups, planks, high knees, any type of exercise that you can do. You could do this during playtime, or you could do this as an extra activity during your day. For art, you can make a camo collage. So you're going to pre-cut out tan, green, black, and brown spots of different shapes and have the children glue them wherever they want on a piece of paper to make a sheet of camouflage. Okay, so for the activity for a taxi driver, it's not something you really need to set up and do collectively as a class, but it's something that you're going to do throughout the day. So instead of having a line leader, you're going to have a taxi driver. The children will use fake money to pay their taxi driver when they get to a new location. So let's say you're going to go to the gym or outside to play. Your taxi driver is going to be your line leader. He will drive your class to its new location. The children, when they get there, will pay the taxi driver with their fake money. And then you might want to switch out your line leader and have a different taxi driver on the way back. For art, I have two ideas for a taxi driver. The first one is to copy the colors that you use on a piece of paper. You're going to have a sheet of three taxis and a sheet that is already colored by you. The children will match the pattern that you made on your sheet of paper on their own sheet of paper. So if you colored it a certain way, you're going to want them to match it exactly. If you wanted to have them do some free art, they could also color another sheet the way they want to, but this is really good for following directions. Another activity would be to create a town on a sheet of paper. Now I use Canva, like I said, for all my worksheets. The children are going to draw buildings or things that they might see in the city or want to be driven to or places they may take a taxi to. And then you can glue a taxi onto the road as well that they have colored. All right, so to be a teacher, you do a lot of teaching, right? So I want you to encourage the children for their teacher activity to bring a lesson to teach the children in the class. So what they're going to do is pick an animal or something else in another topic and have their parents help them come up with maybe two or three facts about that animal or whatever you're talking about. They will also want to bring a picture to school so they can show the other students. During the day when you're talking about teachers, the children can take turns coming up and teaching the other kids about the animal they chose. This is fun for you and the student. For art, my suggestion is to create a blackboard. To make a blackboard, all you need is a piece of cardboard, chalkboard spray paint, and maybe some duct tape and stickers. You're going to spray paint the cardboard either a shape of a square, like a normal blackboard, or in any shape you'd like. You can put duct tape around the edges, to give it a little bit more sturdiness. And then the children can decorate the outside of the blackboard by sticking stickers on the duct tape. These are great to keep in your classroom as well if you want the children to have individual writing tablets or something to do in one of the centers. Okay guys, today's community helper we're going to talk about is a veterinarian. Now for an activity for this community helper, I would have the children each bring their own stuffed animal to school so that you can measure, weigh them, and even sort them by color, size, height, anything you can think of to help them practice sorting. This is also fun because the children get to bring something from home, which they may or may not normally get to do. 
my art project I get is to create a bird seed texture. The children can take the glue and make a design on a piece of paper. You may have to help guide them if they are trying to design something specific. And then they will take bird seed and sprinkle it over the picture. So just like with glitter, you can shake off the extra bird seed. It'll be a picture of where they put the glue. Thanks for watching those ideas. If you would like to see more video ideas, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in our next video. Bye.